back here at the GSL Code S. Will Nesty lose in another upset? Well, will this Nesty would be a much bigger upset, especially considering they are on the same team. You know, yeah. They're going to know each other's uh, practice habits, their patterns of play. But Nesty's is a very reactive pattern. He's a much more experienced player at tearing a player's brain apart. Happy's going to have a hard time of it, man. He better have some sick build order plan. I would cheese, man. If I was happy, I would straight up cheese. I would do the trickiest trick that ever tricked the trick. Yeah, I would pull out the sickest wheel of cheese, start throwing it, shoot cheese wheels out of my blazer sleeves. If I was knock on my door, I'd hand him candy, and he'd think that was it. No! It's poison candy. Come yeah, man. Trick or treat? I choose trick Look at that. these apples. Have a bite. And you taste it? No, it's cheese, man. It just looked like an apple at a distance. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow, that's what I do. We're going to see, though. It's time. The game is loading. Will Happy manage to defeat Nesty? Or will Nesty do what we would assume would occur and defeat uh, Happy? We're going to find out just a little bit. The map is dual site. Head-to-head -head Nesty against Happy. Excuse me. Nesty against Happy here at the GSL Code S. All right, over here in the upper right corner, three-time champion of GSL. He did just lose to MMA in an upset, but he's still basically the best player in the world. There you go. He is... I am Nesty. Okay, only one of you guys can be Nesty. Huh. All right, it's the guy on the left. The girl isn't Nesty? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Look at Nesty, so focused here. He was at, you could see he was actually visually upset. Yeah, he, he lost really MMA. Was. In the bottom uh, left starting location, excuse me, <clears throat> we have a feeling that MMA is definitely feeling right now. That MMA is be feeling I am happy. That's right, MMA is feeling I am happy. Huh. Well, you know, of course, both on I am. Oop. I feel like on you, man. the the more Nesty has played with a player, I think the higher chance that Nesty ends up winning. Yeah, because he's so. such a reactive and intelligent player. In fact, I think that Nesty is a favorite against his whole Nest team. Ah, uh, you're funny. Now, oh. look, go ahead. Gas build by Happy. I am looking forward to seeing some Hellion play from him. That's what I think we're going to see, Tasteless. You yep. may as well do some sort of Blue Flame Hellion or a two-port Banshee build. Anything short of that, Tasteless, and I feel like Nesty is going to easy one, two, three. Uh, Let's see, The geez, old man. KO, Tasteless, the old punch in the chin. The old one, two. Yeah. The old right in your glass jaw. The old lock you in the basement, feed you nothing but pickle juice. <laughs> what? And then rip you apart with a chainsaw. Okay. Now, this is a bunker being erected over here. It is basically to force Nesty to take more drones off than he would like to. Now, notice he sends one drone right around the other side, knowing the SCV always jumps over at the last second to live. He doesn't want that, Tasteless. No, he does not. What a smart maneuver from a smart man. Boop. Oh. All right. Ghost All right. drones went right through that Marine, Tasteless. Yeah, I thought he was gonna, they are going to catch that Marine. Okay. It's like when the ghost is running at you in the Harry Potter movie and it goes right through you. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been uh, playing Demon Souls, Artosis. You've been playing with Demon Souls? That's dangerous, Tasis. Yeah. You've been using the Ouija board without me? Yeah. I told you not to do that, man. <laughs> you need a first level warlock to help you with that, and that's yeah, me, Tasis. Artosis, you are definitely a warlock. Let me just make that clear right now. You, are, you can only be a few things or toes, and a warlock is one of them. The Starcraft caster, maybe a vampire, but not just any vampire, but like a vampire lord. Yeah. You're like the rich vampire. I can't let the vampires know that I don't drink real blood. I drink fruit and vegetable blood. Yeah, man. V8. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> he would be a good warlock, though, for real. Like a good warlock cape and stuff. Thank and you. And your warlock mustache. Yeah. I do my best. Your warlock orb. Huh. Every warlock has an orb. Of course I have an orb, but it shrinks down to a small size so I can keep it in my satchel. Yeah. Your warlock satchel. Do warlocks yeah. use satchels? Uh, this warlock does. I don't know what you carry <laughs> your stuff in. 
So we do have Blue Flame on the way. A couple of Hellions popped out quickly with that reactor. Nest T, plenty of defense at the Moam. Moam, of course, short for moment. In the Moam. In the Moam. Give me a Moam. I don't have a time to say moment, I just say moan. Yeah. Tenlings on the way for Nesty. And I do think Happy's doing a good job with the Hellions. He's not overextending them. Oh my. Well, that was nice. Lining up those drones, you gotta be careful about that. Whenever I see the Queen moving around in the creep chasing the Hellion, I feel like it's watching an old man chase off a bunch of youngsters on his front lawn. He's got his broom. Yeah. Uh, I'll taste this. This is a Nest This is a Nesty Queen. This this old man has a shotgun. He's yeah. the crazy guy that you yeah, tell your kids right. not to go play near his yard. The guy that thought that the moon landing was faked and stuff and yeah. doesn't trust the government. The yeah, guy that, that guy. shot at your dog once and you called the police, but they're like, well, you have no proof. Yeah. That's uh, that's what Nesty is. Now, uh, the Overlord did spot everything. And the blue flame upgrade is going to be done. He might want to use the Marines to park them near the ramp to drive out the Queen, and then the Hellions can go up there. Ten more Lings on the way, as well as a Baneling Nest and a Lair. Some more drones being made as well. This is a third queen. This is, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. The blue flame is just completed. Settle down, Artosis. Breathe in this paper bag. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the Marines are here to cover. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Whoa. Well, Nesty with a pretty decent surround there. Uh, he's going to lose. Oh, oh my Hellions. God. Uh. Nice jumping around by the Hellions. And look at that, the Marines on the low ground helping out a little bit, but it looks like Nesty. I, that was close. Crisis averted. He is Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. Which he Mission assembled Impossible. his team of Zerglings and he surrounded all the Hellions. One of the ones that didn't suck, like the first one maybe. Yeah, the other ones are terrible. Yeah, they they're were pretty so bad. bad. Well, they tried to make an American James Bond, it didn't work. Yeah, I was like, come on guys, like the first Mission Impossible was pretty good. Yeah. Do the part where he's like on the motorcycle in Mission Impossible 3 and he like slides under a truck or something that blows oh, up. And God, I'm like, really, guys? Really? They're going to say the director, like with Tom Cruise, like, oh, Tom, it's going to be amazing. You're going to become <laughs> such a badass. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Scientologist. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> it's exactly how it went, I think. Now. Uh, oh! What? Nice Baneling hits. It looked Goodbye, like the alien. engines broke on those. You can see that the timing of that from Happy was actually to get there exactly when the drone is going to be there. Yeah. He's like, well, I know exactly when ST takes his base. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Back at his home base, he's happily going about his business. Yep. Now, <laughs> we have Evolution Chambers on the way. Uh, you know, to be totally honest, when I saw those Hellions get up the ramp, I thought that Nesty was about to lose. Yeah, had, it was scary for a moment. You know, Blue Flame Hellions, man. Those things are frightening. But Nest T made just the right amount of links. He barely held it, to be honest. Yeah, he it was really close. Really barely held that. Well, the third command center is up for Happy. Getting the reactor and starport. Nest T in the meantime. Getting that macro hatch going. Mutas are on the way. Burrow just finished with Baneling Speed half done. So I'm excited to see where the locations that uh, Nesty wants to burrow Banelings in and how many he wants to burrow. It's this hard to plan a, it on a map like this. I was about to say, this is a map where it's pretty tough to pull off a, a perfect Baneling uh, yeah. landmine trap. I mean, there's obviously some areas that they'll always have units in, but those are the areas that they're most likely to scan. So you want to put them in areas that are areas they'll probably walk through on the areas that you know they're going to be on in. So yeah. it's, it's a hard little balance to have. So, for the time being, Happy uh, just playing very conservatively. Yeah, he's floating his command over, but look at that. A Zergling and a sheep double teaming that command center. Can't yeah, look land. at that. Is it a sheep? I thought it's a goat. A ram. It's a ram that you can't click on? Yeah, you can't click on it, so we can never know what it really is. It might be an elephant for all we know, Tasteless. Yeah, a little baby elephant. Could be like an anteater. Could be a. Uh... I got nothing. Eh. Just name it after Nest T like we do everything else. Nestifun. <laughs> well, not a whole lot Nest T can do. He did lose all those Zerglings um, in that attack, trying to defend. So, yeah, there's just not a whole lot he could do. Mm. Nest T right now, pretty good creep spread, tasteless, don't you think? Yep. I mean, I no, no Slayer's Seal creep spread, but uh, 
Uh, or, and it's Hoso actually, Seal, like, rather, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, we do have 79 drones against 50 SUVs. I will never understand how Nesty gets just so many drones and so many units. Yeah, I mean, that's the real art of what Nesty's doing is, you know, from an outside perspective watching the game, you're just like, well, it just doesn't seem to lose any battles and stuff, but he's just so masterfully massing up such an army. Uh-oh! He does... Does he have mainling speed, Artosis? He does indeed. Right, he does now. Of course, okay. he's an ST. All right. Only jobbers don't get mainling how, speed. How basis. foolish of me. Um, yeah, I know. Now, uh, Happy's moving out. He's cleaning up the creep. Nesty is not counterattacking, although this would have been a good moment to counterattack. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Happy's third base, it's an orbital with just missile turrets there. There's really yeah. nothing. If he can just sneak a couple banes down there somehow, some way, that could be quite huge. Nesty's starting to burrow banelings around the map. Yeah, the map is somewhat booby trapped. Yeah, becoming more and more oh, so. Oh, nice. He just takes out two Hellions there. The Hellions are there to actually wipe out all the Zerglings and Banelings. So losing those few Hellions is pretty huge. Oh, Nest here right now, just kind of repositioning his army as he takes his fourth base, the gold in the top left, and his fifth base. Oh, interesting. He's going to go oh. up into the main. I Look at this. This is a great move when your tanks are out of position. The Banelings rolling right up, man. He's going to burrow. Oh, him. my God. Wow, very well done. Just trying to stall him out so that he can really use these burrow tactics. This is a great new tactic nowadays to just run in to counter and burrow some of your banelings. But his yeah. mutas have taken a lot of damage. Going after the SCVs. Oh, nice. Very well done. He's not even done yet. Oh, my God. Oh, and he gets a ton of SCVs. Beautiful. Nest supply right now. 169 against 114 for Happy. And as far as unit count goes, 81 drones to 45 SCVs. Much better economy for Nest T. Nesty with a very healthy amount of mutas out now. It looks like Happy's decided he has to go out and act now. And he's got to be careful. Well, Happy's attack here looks like it definitely will take out that gold base. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This base is not really Ooh, well defended. Look at that positioning. Damn, look at that Hellion positioning. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, those Hellions getting insane amounts of kills. And in fact... Zerglings backing up to take out these Marines. But I the cannot Hellions, believe he's actually going to hold this. That was beautiful. That is and actually epic. insane. Whoa. We had a 20 kill. Oh, he's now 15. attacking over here, Artosis. Very nice attack. He has already taken out the gold base, of course. Good spreading. He's oh, my God. Wow. Wait a minute. Is Nest he, like about to lose? Well, he's still up in supply, but yeah, taking a ton of damage. He cannot lose this base, Tasteless. I. Everything's like happening so quickly here. He, yeah, really, oh right now, Happy is on God. top of everything, but it looks like this will oh, be cleaned up. Fire down the banelings. Plenty of mutas, though. I can't believe that Happy actually held that position down there. Wow, I tell you what, man. It looked like Nest would get out of this group easily, but now this he is might not. get out of this group yeah. barely, or, or even if he does get out of this group, he might end up going down up and down. This is not as Nesteezy as he would like it to be. Ooh, nice artosis. All right, we have another push. This push is so important. We have a reasonable amount of Zerlians and Mutalists on the map, about 20 for each. Yeah, he is counterattacking with Mutas right now. Thing is, he is going to definitely lose his hatchery on the right side of the map, Tasis. Yeah, and then they're going to be in an even base situation. You never want that as Zerg. He is up in supply still. We'll have to see what he can get done with this. Doing a lot of damage back here. Marines do stim and run up there. They do have 2 1. Plus 2 attack, almost done for Mutas. Okay, I don't actually know uh, what, what Nesty's plan is from here. Well, it looks like he wants to just keep on attacking the main base right here, really draw Happy back. He keeps sending more and more Marines, but Nesty's taken out quite a few. And finally, his Mutas have taken enough damage, he wants to escape for now. He is taking that gold base once again. You know, still, there is. One Baneling landmine. I can only find one on the map. I wish that there was one or two more because one really good Baneling landmine could actually win him the game. See, that's where that was actually supposed to be a Baneling yeah, landmine there. Like Those it. two parked out. Well, Nessie's going to counterattack with the Mutas. This attack going up towards him is too strong, Tasteless. It's got and eight siege tanks Happy in it. Happy will lose the orbital. 
lets those utilis that's, all the way from one marine. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good, man, because yeah, that nice. leaves him with two orbitals for scanning. Less mules, too. Yeah, and less scanning equals more Baneling landmines. Scanning, see, that would have been a great location for Baneling landmine. Muta's coming in from behind. Trying to find some way to do some damage to this group of Terran units. If he can right. kill this army, he's still fine, but it looks like he's going to go for counter a counterattack. And this is huge. SD needs to do some huge damage here. Going after these Marines with the Muta. Ah, and it looks like he is going to break through. He does get into the main. Muta's doing a tremendous amount of damage, but here's the problem, Artos, is, is right now uh, we have our Terran player, I Am Happy, moving up to the upper expansion. And he is definitely, he just took that out. And at the end of the day, I think the army all that the Oh, a lot of Banelings actually connect. And Happy is going to be cleaned up, Tasis. That's only a handful of Marines. Plenty of Mutas to oh kill. Oh, my God. Ah, no. <laughs> all right. Well, I think what's going to happen is Nestie is about to fly back into the main base of Happy. And if he wants to send enough Marines back to kill the Mutas, they're going to die. So... Well, he knows there's Burrow there, too. He has, he's, well, he here's back. the thing. Nestes actually does not have any uh, money. That's he's very true. He's low. And oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> nice. Nesty doesn't lose in this round, Tasteless. Don't be silly. He well, doesn't need to be mining, you silly guy. Well, he's driving out the Mutalisks. I, I actually still don't know, though. I mean, Nesty has to get this one expansion up. He's actually mining long distance from it. Well, it's 17 SCVs at 54 drones, so even long distance is going to be doing all right. He still has some Banelings for Every Muta here. he loses right now. Nice oh little my explosion God. there. If he wins, this is because of stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't and think he should be attacking uh -oh. here. What is he uh -oh. doing? What is he doing? Oh, God. Nest, he just lost about four or five Mutas that he absolutely should not have, but he still has Baneling landmines all over the place. He's hurt the economy so much that mules are going to have to be used if he saves all of his energy for scans, Tasteless, I don't know. And here we go, a Baneling attack into the main base. He's uh, continuing to counter. He's staying right over the production facilities. And it looks like there might not be enough Nessie if he could just keep his units here for a little bit and take out everything when it pops out. Yeah, and yeah, it looks like he managed to do it. Only 30 supply G -G. left. GG, GG, oh Nessie, by the skin of his Nest teeth, stays in the Code S round of 16. Oh my god, that was so close. He was literally, he did not have an expansion. He was like making one. Yeah. And using just a small number of units he could make from long distance mining to win that. Nest T is an entertainer at heart, Tasteless. Well, you know what's so awesome about that is he's a Nest entertainer. <laughs> well, they are both teammates. So, you know, that was, wow. Great games. He's Where like, sorry, I'll buy you some Galby when I win GSL again. Yeah, no kidding. He's like, what about now? You've won like two hundred thousand dollars in ST. He's like, nah, nah. How much money has he actually won? He's actually won over two hundred thousand. No, I think he's actually coming up on two hundred thousand. Oh no, that's right. That's right. No, you are correct. It's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh my God, who's that? <gasps> it's MC. Oh, MC's here. Yeah. We well, move one champion to bring another one in. I know. We're so good to you guys. You just get to watch champions all it's day long. It's true. Man. So, look, that was a really exciting uh, series of games. They're all long and dramatic. Yeah, they really were. I have a coffee at my desk. I haven't even drank it because of the, the games are so interesting. I've been sucking mine down. I'm a caffeine fiend. You're a caffeine fiend? Yeah. yeah I've actually cut back on my coffee intake. It's good. It's bad yeah. for you. It, like, overstimulates me or something. Um Guys, don't go anywhere because we have more games coming up here in a little bit. Nest, he, we were saying he's the best player in the world, but he had one hell of a hard time trying to yeah. get out of this group. He barely made it out while MMA coasted through. Well, a lot of people complain that GSL was too easy for Nest, he never loses games. Maybe he's spicing up for us a little bit. He's like, I'll make every game close. I'll even lose some for you guys. Thank you, <laughs> Nest, Thank you, Nest, So these are the results of Group A, Nest, and MMA moving on. Kyrix and I'm happy going down to the up and down matches. And we actually have like what a happy hardcore playing right now. You know what we have right now is DDR music, man. <laughs> That's what this stuff is. I can actually see like some terrible anime in the background and like you know what you know what no, I'm talking I know about. Exactly I'm like doing it right now. Yeah. It's like a really, really low budget video in the background. I'm like, did you even need to make a video? And there's like, like a man and a woman like in drawn form dancing like this and like they're <laughs> 
their feet aren't going quick enough for the song. I think that's it's Pump like, It Up that does that. I don't know if DDR well, DDR does that. DDR as well. has like the uh, the terribly animated uh, dancing. Oh, they have they have everything. Do they, do they have everything? Yeah, man. All right, we're going to have a five-minute break, guys. So thank you for joining us. We'll be back uh, in five minutes. So, yeah, that's the terrible outro. five-minute break. I was doing fine break. today until I did the outro. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you guys again in just a little bit with the second half of today's Code S game. See you soon.